up to? All right, the big bad bear, which is mega. All right, and what they're up to? What? What's brewing? Remember that seed in pot. Something's brewing. That's a saying too here in America. And when something's up, yo, Miss, I don't know, Miss, something's brewing. You know? Go ahead. This is from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, I'm gonna jump to uh, John Kerry. Get a little closer. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if you can pick them up. Not too close. All right. This is uh, uh it says uh, Secretary of State John Kerry met with Russian Foreign Minister Sergey uh, Lavrov and said he raised U.S. concerns about the attack that targeted the regime opponents other than the Islamic State. Also known as ISIS or ISIL, in Syria, multi-side in Syria's multi-side war, Mr. Assad's military, aided by Iran and a Lebanese uh, Shiite group, Hezbollah, is fighting both Islamic State and opponent opposed opposition rebel groups, some of which are supported by the U.S. and its allies. Mr. Kerry said, Mr. Kerry, the U.S said the U.S. and Russia needs to hold military talks as soon as possible. That, well, you know what? You know what? Putin is like, man, I don't got to hold talks with nobody. I'm not down with NATO. I'm not down with the EU. I'm not down with you, John Kerry, you faggot. So Putin is coming in that, in that raw, ancient spirit of war. Who the fuck? First of all, the U.S. has no power anymore. The U.S. The U.S. credit is crap. All right? It's crap. The dollar keeps dropping. China got more power than the U.S. now. So, so the U.S. is in the back burner, okay? You, the U.S. is spreading itself out too thin, just like the Roman Empire did, and they're doing it all over again, all right? And that's gonna be a, a part, one of the things that's gonna destroy this bitch, okay? Go ahead. It says, uh, the U.S. and its allies were angry at the Russians. John Kerry, that's, that's showing you, um, uh, other times of that, you know, that, that scripture, uh, um, and uh, one horn, uh, it was more, more, uh, more, more pop than his fellows, or something like that. And then oh, Daniel, yeah, Daniel, yeah. yeah, keep going, keep going. Yeah, it. Okay. it says the U.S. The and its allies more stout were, than his fellows. More stout, yeah, because because John Kerry, that, that's a proud statement, man. That Russia and the U.S. have to sit down. No, Russia don't gotta do shit that the U.S. say to do. Russia don't gotta do shit, man. All right. That's the problem with, with these, so, these, these, these damn crackers here in the, in the U.S. They, they so damn proud, they think they got the power to tell people what to do every single time. Look, man, you don't have the, no, no power anymore, okay? So what you need to do, John Kerry, is shut, the, shut your cracker ass up, and all you damn the, the, uh, uh, decrepit pedo pedophile crackers in the White House, in the House of Representatives, all up in Congress, shut the fuck up, man, because there's fire coming for your ass, all right? Oh, you found it? Good, yeah. All right, go ahead. That's Daniel 7 and 20, right? Daniel 7 and 20. And of the 10 horns that were in his head, and of the other which came up, it says, and of the ten horns that were in his head, and of the other which came up, and before whom three fell, even of that horn that had eyes, and a mouth that spake very great things, whose look is more stout than his fellow. Yeah, so we're gonna go into some, that's, that's history right there, okay? Now read that again, Alan. Go on. Daniel 7 and 20. Uh -huh. And of the ten horns that were in his head. Right, the ten horns. Okay? This is talking about this is going into the beast, right? With with the ten horns. Alright? Uh, upon his head. That was dealing with the with the different uh, uh kingdoms of Esau, right? Now here we go. Right? It was, it was dealing with the kingdoms, okay? And it was dealing with, it was dealing with, um, the Greeks. There you go. Well, this is, this is, this is NATO. But well, we're going into the, uh, the kingdoms that they had, right? The Greeks as the Greeks, right? The Romans, the French, the Spanish, Germania, ma uh, Major, Germania mi Minor, okay? And then last of, out of, of them all, America. 
Oh, let's not forget Brit Brit uh, the Britain, the British, because America came out of the British. All right. So now read that again. Uh. And of the ten horns that were in his head. So those are the ten horns. Okay, go ahead. And of the other which came up. The other, the other is speaking about America, because it came out, it came up later on, right? The last to come up. Go ahead. And before whom three fell. Three, three, because the the, uh, the other ones that ruled before America was who? The British ruled. They had their time to rule, right? The Spanish, they ruled, right? They came up. They started, they started ruling again with the with the Spanish, right? Then the French. Then the British, and out of the British came America. So those are the three that fell. And remember that America was broken up into three, right? America was, when it, when Esau came to conquer, it started off with the, the Spanish conquistadors, right? They had their portion. Then you had the French. That's why you got you got uh, New Orleans uh, and, and certain parts of the on this side of the Mississippi that used to be all French. You got French Guyana. Fr you got French Guyana, right? Then came the British, and the British started colonizing all of the East Coast, right? All of the East Coast, so to speak, and this and they they started what? They started building the thirteen colonies. And out of the 13 colonies, they said, you know what I'm saying? They came up all the, con the, the Confederate states and the, and the uh, northern the northern states. Okay, they were down with the Confederates. The Union, yeah, the Union and the Confederates. Okay, until now, what you got, they're all together. So those are the three that fell: the, the Spanish, the French, and the, and the British. They fell before uh, America. Yeah, so, and they did they had a war. But it was uh, it was recruiting Native Americans, Yadites, oh, to fight against the British. Yeah, beautiful. I think it's called the French and Indian Wars, man. Oh, look, hey man, that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you go into the history about you know the, the uh, Native Americans when Esau started coming over. Here, that's you know right. What I'm saying? That's right. Because the why? Because they knew they get. First of all, a lot of them, the top echelons of the, of the military, they knew who Gad was already. They knew that, they, that the Israelites were over here because Columbus knew. And speaking about Columbus, brothers got to get ready because uh, so-called so-called Columbus Day is what next week, something like that. So brothers got to start pulling up articles on that and making shows upon about that damn devil, so-called Jew, that was set up and paid for to come over here. He knew exactly what the fuck he was doing. He knew he wasn't going to no damn India for spices and and and, and trying to find the Silk Roads of Marco Polo and um <laughs> whoever else came before him that goddamn double. He knew exactly what the fuck he was doing because he was set up, man. Right? He was set the hell up. Nothing in history happens uh, uh, um, out, of, out of some whim, you know, or for no reason. Everything happens, it's, everything is uh, designed all right, and orchestrated. Even of that horn that had eyes. The, the horn that had eyes was America, man. All right, go ahead. And a mouth that spake very great things. Beautiful. Now, now, what scripture come to mind? Um, yeah, Revelation. <coughs> Go ahead, brother. Keep on reading. Gun. Whose look was more stout than his face. Right. Going back to John Kerry for that statement he he made about how Russia and the United States should sit down and discuss this whole military issue. They don't got. First of all, you faggot. They don't got to sit down with you. And don't you know that that's the same people who are gonna bomb your ass and burn you up? All right. Learn that. Oh, now I know. Now I know. Um, um, Revelation. Revelation. Seventeen. Yeah, because it, remember the market. The, the, uh, the uh, speaking about the six six six. Now, don't read that just yet. Go ahead, finish up. Bro. I beheld. And the same horn made war with the saints. The same horn, um, uh, America, made war with the saints. Who are the saints? Give me, give me a twelve tribes, sign, brother. Like, one of the, who are the saints? All the tribe, the, the 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 nation of Israel. All the men of the nation of Israel are the saints of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. How did this horn make war with? These are the saints. Here you go. The saints of Judah, the saints of Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, Issachar. But at this particular